reaction. In fact, it uses a two-step reaction to basically produce an important inflammatory molecule we call a prostaglandin H2. And what prostaglandin H2 does is it basically initiates the inflammation response. It basically stimulates that inflammation response that is carried out by our immune system. And it also actually regulates the secretion of gastric acid by the gastric cells of our stomach. So this is the two-step process that it catalyzes. So the substrate molecule of this particular enzyme is the arachidonic acid and the arachidonic acid exists in its deprotonated state what it does this arachidonic acid basically is found within the hydrophobic region of the membrane it moves into the active side of this enzyme and it moves into the active side without actually having to interact with the aqueous environment of the er lumen why well because it moves from inside the core of that membrane and directly into the active side. And that's important because this substrate is predominantly not polar. It will not want to dissolve or interact with the water molecules in the aqueous environment. And so basically, this moves into the active side, it is transformed into prostaglandin GH, and then that is transformed into prostaglandin H2. And so we see that there are many different examples of integral proteins and peripheral proteins. But together, all these proteins that basically constitute the membranes of our body are responsible for carrying out these different types of functions. And we'll look at many, many more examples in the lectures to come.